What's going on guys? Merrick here. We were going to go ahead and rank the games today. Uh, however, with the Scarlet and Violet second DLC right around the corner, I want to wait to see if it's as good as uh, they're claiming uh, before I give my final ranking for Gen 9 in particular. So today instead, we're going to be covering the most controversial thing about Gen 6 in my opinion, the roller skates. We're going to be talking about Mega Evolutions, and we're going to go ahead and just get people started, get ready on your keyboards, because the first one, Mega Venusaur, going in S tier. <laughs> now, I know I seem biased, and it's not like Bulbasaur is my favorite starter, which it is, but Squirtle was my original first starter, so the bias hasn't always been there. But again, I like Mega Venusaur because just like Bulbasaur to Ivysaur to Venusaur, Venusaur to Mega Venusaur looks like an actual evolution. It's It just looks like an evolved form of Venusaur, which is what you would come to expect from any kind of evolution, regardless of what it is. Mega Venusaur was also my Mega of choice uh, playing through Gen 6, and I mean, giving it thick fat just made it so much better of a Pokemon, and I mean, Venusaur was already a decent Pokemon with Chlorophyll, swept like a mother on Sun Teams, so I can't help it. Every iteration of Bulbasaur is just perfect. Then up next, we have, we're going to go with Charizard X, uh, because X does come before Y, and uh, I don't dislike this thing, considering my feelings for Charizard, but I'm going to put this in A, and here's why. Because it doesn't feel... Okay, let's go ahead and... We'll, we'll go ahead and just get this out of the way. I'm putting Mega Charizard Y in S tier as well, and so we're going to go ahead and compare them together. Mega Charizard Y is, again, a perfect evolution of Charizard. The bigger wingspan... I think its tail's a little bit longer. The horns are a little more pronounced. It looks more Charizard, I guess. Like it just—it looks good. Granted, yes, he doesn't become—he doesn't become a dragon. Blah 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 blah. <clears throat> he gets fucking drought. He be, he makes his own fire shit better. He makes water stuff not better. It's just a better evolution for Charizard than Charizard X. And the only reason Charizard even got to, just like Mewtwo, is because they were they were favorites of whoever made that decision. Um, but Charizard X just kind of doesn't, it just doesn't really do it. I mean, okay, cool, he turns into a dragon, but eh. Even the design, like, I don't like the way the wings look. The blue flames are kind of cool on the tail, but I don't like the blue flames that are, like, oozing out of his out of his face they're just kind of they're just kind of weird and then of course we had to make him a black dragon blah blah blah, blah. it's just it's dumb all right it's not terrible design wise but it's just it could have been better and then speaking of design that could have been better we get mega blastoise here and i hate to not put blastoise up there with venusaur and charizard but i'm gonna stick him in a tier i do like the design but if i put a, a whole bunch in a in s tier i'm just gonna get yelled at so uh, it's not terrible. It, I do like the the two cannons on the arms. They look cool, and they get he gets little like shells on his forearms as well. The biggest thing for me is the gigantic cannon on his back. It looks a little goofy, and also it just uh, evolution wise, it's like how how does he get the two on his arms, and are they the two that were on his shoulders, or do those two? like, fused together to make this big one. Like, it's it's a it's a cool design, but as far as it going from Blastoise to Mega Blastoise, like how Venusaur and Charizard did, it just, it doesn't hold up as well. Then we got Mega Beedrill. This is a pretty cool one, too. I'm also going to put this in A tier. I'm not a big fan of Beedrill, even though I do like the gigantic, like, twin needles he's got, or whatever they're called, his giant, like... They're not his ass stinger, but, you know, his arm stingers. They just look cool, and in this form, it's just more pronounced. He looks entirely more deadly. Like, this is the, you know, that 
that ki Japanese killer hornet or whatever that they were talking about a couple of years ago during the whole pandemic crisis. This is what you would expect to see. And it just, it makes Beedrill actually look cool. It's a, Beedrill himself was an okay design, but this actually makes him look like a decent Pokemon. Then we got Mega Pidgeot here, and I think making, giving Pidgeot a Mega made it a fantastic looking Pokemon, and it's got to go in S tier for me. When Mega Pidgeot was announced, along with all the other Megas that came, I... I was ecstatic because it gave Pidgeot something and the design was amazing. Pidgeot being my favorite of all the regional birds and it's just, it's again, it looks like a true evolution of Pidgeot but better. And it is kind of weird that his, his focus goes from, I mean he's more or less a physical attacker to his Mega is all about special moves. But he's really fun to use, too. And Mega Pidgeot just, he's got an increased, like, wingspan, his little head thing. Like, he gets more color added. He just looks better than regular Pidgeot, to be honest. Then we've got Mega Alakazam. And, I mean, I gotta be honest. Aside from the fact that his two spoons became five, I think Mega Alakazam is a great design. He looks like Alakazam. You know, he, he's like a, this gigantic powerful wizard in his old age and I really like that now his little frail ass legs being so too frail to even hold him up the to the point that he just psychically levitates while he's got his little legs held up in the air is a little goofy but overall I think the design is really solid and his shiny is so purple I love it so if we ignore the spoons it's a pretty good design could not put it in S tier though because there's too much that, yeah, I just, too much that warrants not getting S tier. And speaking of warranting not getting S tier, Mega Slowbro. I don't like this thing. He is silly. It's like a goofy Beyblade. I'm going to put him in B tier. It's going to be our first one that's not in A or S tier. I don't dislike him. He's good, fun to use, you know, in, in game. But it's like, I don't understand why the shell started eating his whole body. And he just looks like he doesn't care. I understand the, you know, Slowpoke line are supposed to be really fucking just like the derpiest of shits. But this kind of takes it to the next level. It's not a bad design, but it's not something that I'm like, yeah, this is where I, I thought this was going. <clears throat> now, what isn't what I thought and was... A pleasant surprise was Mega Gengar. This thing's going in S tier, and I don't think anybody is arguing with that. I don't know anybody that even dislikes Gengar, let alone Mega Gengar. Uh, he's just, he's even more menacing than regular Gengar. Now, I like regular Gengar better, um, because, you know, he's this goofy little, he hops around in his animations and stuff. Whereas this one, it's like, he's kind of like a shadow coming out of the ground. But he's, he looks much more wicked. The only thing I don't really care for is the, like, third eye that's kind of, like, on his forehead. But other than that, eh. It's not enough that I have, I feel like I can demote him from, from S rank. Then we got Mega Kangaskhan, and competitively, this thing goes in S rank. Design-wise, it's just C tier to me. It's really nothing outside of its little Kangaskhan is no longer in the big Kangaskhan. And is gets the second hit in, which is where the half damage comes from. It's a cool concept. I like the concept, but the creativity is just kind of like nothing changed really. And then speaking of cool concepts, we got Mega Pincer here, and I I don't know that I like this one to be honest. I think I'm gonna put it in C tier. Because I don't hate it, uh, but it's just kind of like, I don't know. I, they made it more bug-like, but it's just, it's in a weird way, I guess. Like, the wings don't really feel like they fit. His arms are more, yeah, I just, I don't know. It's not a Mega that I could ever see myself using. 
Then we got Mega Gyarados here. I'm going to put Mega Gyarados in B tier. Gyarados being one of my all-time favorite Pokemon. I, again, I don't feel like his Mega is a better design than we already had. He was this cool, giant water serpent creature. To That kind of makes him look like a big, like, shrimp. And, I, I don't know. He was okay to use in battle, but it just... it. It just felt like I'd rather just be using a regular Gyarados. And again, design-wise, his shiny is the same red as regular Gyarados, which is cool. But, yeah, again, design-wise, he just... Losing that cool giant water serpent-like appearance really is just a step down for me. Then we got Mega Aerodactyl. And I gotta say, I like it. I, I'm... I'm torn between A or B tier. I think I'm going to put him in B tier, but it's like a high B, like a B plus. Like an 89. Almost an A, but not quite. The only things I don't really like about his design is the little Satan beard he's got going on. And then, like, if I remember correctly, he's got, like, rock pieces on his eyebrows or something that makes him look kind of goofy. It, otherwise, it's a cool design. It's it's an Aerodactyl that's more intimidating, which I thought Aerodactyl was all, always, like, the coolest of fossil Pokemon, the most intimidating one. And this makes him look like the, he would be the ruler of the skies in a prehistoric world. But, yeah, the, the, the beard thing just kind of throws it off for me. <clears throat> Moving on, we got Mega Mewtwo X and... I gotta say, this is not the one I prefer. Um, I'm gonna stick him in C tier. Mewtwo being a such a special hitter, and then and I understand they gave us you know Mega X and Mega Y, um, and I guess we'll we'll go ahead and do the same thing we did with Charizard. Put them both up there. Uh, Mega Mewtwo Y is going to actually get. B tier. Again, it's like a high B tier. It's weird because, so, Mega X, first of all, being, being a physical attacker, that's not what Mewtwo's for. And that's, I, I don't, I don't like it because of that. But then also, like, his big tail is now like this, like, shorter, more whatever tail. His arms are more muscular, muscular, muscular. And he's got, he almost has like this vest that almost looks like the, the fusion vest from the Dragon Ball series. Whereas Mega Mewtwo Y, the face is a little more intimidating. His tail is now a head tail, almost like a Majin Buu-esque creature. His body's a little more uh, fetus-y. And then his fingers and toes are really weird. But I still don't, I still like it better than uh, Mega Mewtwo X. Also, Mega Mewtwo Y, like already... Mewtwo was already specially just a monster. Mega Mewtwo Y just takes that and cranks it up to 11. Um, and it's just, it's cool. It's it's a cooler design. I don't dislike it. But I also don't feel like I can put them in the same tier. So we're going to put Y in B tier. Then we got Mega Ampharos. This is another one that I just, I don't really care for. Um, so we're going to put it in C tier as well. Again, I don't dislike it. But it's, it's just Ampharos with long white hair and a poofy white tail it becomes dragon which is kind of cool because it's an electric dragon but again it's just like i don't i don't know what they're going for with it design wise and to me i never was big on ampharos anyways i know that was you know the gen 2 electric pokemon and everybody blah 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 but i mean for me, it was it was always Raichu, and then uh, we didn't get you know I couldn't use a Raichu in my playthroughs of you know Silver version, so I just went with Mag uh, Magnemite Magneton because he was there, and that was always good enough for me. Then speaking of cool Steel types, we've got Mega Steelix, and this guy I almost want to put him in a in S tier. I'm gonna hold back, and I'm gonna put him in A tier. I love this thing. He is so... He's such a fucking cool design. Meg, uh, Steelix was already 
like, you know, Gyarados, this serpent creature, except he was made of steel. He was this metal behemoth. And then now, he's even more of a metal behemoth, but he's got crystals growing out of him. He's got metal and shit floating around him as if he's got his own gravitational pull. It's really a fucking cool... You know what? I'm just gonna put it in S here. You guys can get mad at me all you want. I think it's just a fucking cool-ass design. I used him a little bit in, in competitive. He wasn't the greatest. I feel like my Mega could have been used on something better. But he was fun to use. And design-wise, he just looks really fucking cool. And we got Mega Scizor. This is one that... I don't like Mega Scizor as much as I like regular Scizor. I think I have to put it in B tier. His claws are bigger... But that bigger doesn't always mean better. And in this case, it's like they're really chompy. His his legs are a little more like stick figurey. Like he, he just doesn't really have feet. I just he he kind of retains a lot of Scizor's properties, but I, I just I don't like them as much as I like them on regular Scizor. Then we got Mega Heracross, and I really just, I don't particularly like this thing. I feel like it's, do I want to go to D tier with it? I almost feel like I kind of want to. Yeah, I'll put him in D tier. Maybe he's like low C. The thing is, I liked Heracross's design. This kind of like takes Heracross, but it goes the opposite direction. Almost like it's trying to make him into a different kind of beetle. And I understand, like, Mega the Evolutions. It's like, I mean, they're all crazy. But Mega Heracross, if this was the design of Heracross in Gen 2, I probably wouldn't have liked it as much. Then we got Mega Houndoom. This is a pretty solid one. Obviously, we know what they were going for. I'm going to put him in B tier. They were really just going for, like, hey, this is a dog with, like, bones on the outside, and he's supposed to be, like, a hellhound kind of thing. And so they amped up the bones, amped up the spikes. He's got horns on his head, and then he's he looks more like, literally like a dog from hell. So they did a good design, a good job with it. I wasn't the biggest Houndoom fan to begin with, and this, to me, is a little over the top. So I think B tier is, you know, put him in right there kind of in the middle of of the good and the bad. Then we got Mega Tyranitar, and this one, I, again, I love this design. Um, I, I feel like, I feel like it's S tier for me. Again, I know you guys hate me putting so many things in S tier. But Mega Tyranitar, it just again, it looks like a perfect continuation from Tyranitar. He's more spiky, he's more giant monstery, and he's fun to use. I used Mega Tyranitar quite a bit in Gen 6, and I, I was never disappointed with the outcome using him. He's just takes Tyranitar and just makes him a better Tyranitar. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to piss people off again. And we've got the Gen 3 starters. We've got Sceptile and Sceptile's going to go in... Do I put him in B tier? I like Sept. You know what? I'll put him in A tier because I like his. I like Mega Septile more than I like regular Septile. Regular Septile's whole ass tail from the fucking straight from its ass all the way to the tip of its tail is like a giant tree. Whereas this one, he kind of has a tail, and it's just got a tree attached to the end of it. You can deal without all the orbs and shit on his back, and he would look better. But he's a, he's a he's a decent design all on its own. I guess he's he's good enough to be an A tier, maybe like a low A minus. Or even maybe a B plus. I'll put him there for now because I do like him better than Sceptile. Mega Blaziken, on the other hand, that's an A tier. He is just a better version of Blaziken. He looks more fierce. He looks more 
like he you know wants to throw hands and i just i like the design i'm not big on blaziken despite the fact i used him quite a bit in gen 3 and 4 but mega blaziken is just a really solid design mega swampert on the other hand is it's a bit odd i love swampert i put swampert in s tier in the the final starter evolutions tier list but i gotta put this one in b tier i like him because he's goofy and like i don't take it too seriously but like he hulks out so much for the top half his arms are huge his like torso is gigantic and he just he's he's definitely a monster like i wouldn't want to have to fight this thing but as far as design goes it's just it's a little more comical than uh his other two hoenn companions and then we've got mega gardevoir and this one's this one's okay i guess it's good enough for b tier it's just kind of like gardevoir with like a bigger dress it doesn't really change much and i mean i think i think mega gardevoir i'm trying to remember i never used it that i recall but it was a better gardevoir but it just like its design is just literally just changed into a, a poofier dress that's really all it is uh, speaking of the same thing is Mega <laughs> Mega Sable. Um, I'm not big on Sable's design anyway, so I'm gonna put him in C tier. He literally like Sable himself didn't even grow. He's just got a bigger fucking rupee. He's he just he got a bigger rupee. That's it. It's it's literally more the same than Gallade, and that's really saying something. Then we've got Mega Mawile, and this one kind of surprised me because I don't really care for Mawile, but really thinking about it, I love the way it's, um, whatever the hell you want to call it on the back of its head, that mouth, that just, whatever. It just, it looks so much fiercer. Mega Mawile is one of those Pokemon, I actually took Pokemon I didn't like and made it into something I was like, that's kind of, that's a, it's, it's cooler. It's cooler, and I like it enough, and so it gets A tier for that because it does look like something that would bite your fucking head off, and yeah, it's it just it feels weird putting it. It feels weird putting it above, you know, a Gyarados or an Aerodactyl or even a Scizor, but uh, I mean, you know, I've also got Sceptile and Blaziken above those things, and I would not do that if this were not the mega tier list, so. I got Mega Aggron up next, and I personally like Mega Aggron. I, again, uh, I'm going to put it in A tier. Mega Aggron, to me, there's something about that kind of um, kaiju design, I think is how somebody described it. You know, Nitto King, Nitto Queen, we got Tyranitar, you got Rhydon, and then you got Aggron, and Mega Aggron is really cool. He loses the rock typing, which hurts a little bit offensively, but it really helps him on the defensive side. And now he's just like, he looks more like a big behemoth than he did before, and I, that's just, I really like that design. <sighs> and then up next, we've got Metacham, Metacam, however you want to say it. And I was never a big fan of this Pokemon to begin with. I like his Mega Form better than his original form, but it's just it's gonna be a C tier for me. I, I I don't know. I kind of kind of like where they were going with it, but it's just it's still not enough for me to really like this Pokemon. Mega Manetrix kind of the same way. Uh, I'm thinking he's also gonna go in a C tier. He really didn't do anything besides just turn his body into a just big like crappily designed thunderbolt uh i call it a, a thunderbolt a bolt of lightning really and this is kind of it's really an eh design mega sharpedo again is kind of the same thing and he just mega sharpedo to me is just sharpedo but a little more sharp and it's not like he didn't gain any like cool spikes or he's i mean it's already half a shark and Mega Sharpedo should have turned into like a full shark. This thing to me is just like it didn't it didn't even need to do anything. 
Mega Camera Up is a is is one that I do like. I'm gonna put it in B tier it, because it actually turns into like a volcano, and I like the cool volcano that's on the back of it. I never used one of these before, but again, design wise, I like the the actual vo volcano that's on its back. Which I mean, Camera Up I think it had two little volcanoes on its back for the two humps but not in this case like this one actually has the volcano there's magma coming out of it there's the the hard magma around the base of it it just looks cooler then we've got mega altaria this thing is gonna go in c tier because it's really just altaria with just more fluff around it um I don't think Altaria had a tail like that so it got a longer tail but again it's design is just kind of so bland that it's it's not really a whole lot different not enough to really matter now what it is a whole lot different and does fucking matter is mega bayonet and this one's going in s tier as well bayonet was kind of a a cool pokemon but not a super cool pokemon as an actual pokemon i'd probably put it in a b tier uh whereas its mega form is just so much cooler the unzipped I don't even know what just parts and then it's hands and feet coming out of them just looks it and it just it's so much more sinister of a pokemon design than the original form was this thing it just it looks fucking creepy as hell and it, i feel like it deserves its place in s rank up next we've got mega absol and this thing again it just has to stay in c tier like absol was a cool a cool design on its own but this thing, it's like it grows a weird wing on one side. It grows emo hair on the same side. And then uh, on the opposite side, its horn is bigger. It's like, it just, it, I don't know what the heck they were going for. Like what the, the theme was to the two sides. But like it's one side is supposed to be like an angel. The other side is supposed to be like a devil. Maybe. But I feel like that's giving them too much credit. Up next, we've got Mega Glalie and... Again, it's going in C tier. This is one that, it honestly, I can understand why Mega Evolution is supposed to be so painful. Um, it's a like a forced evolution. This one is he's forced to literally rip his jaw in half, and it can't feel good. He looks pissed off. He looks kind of cool, but it, it's just really not much different than the original design that we started with now what's not really cooler than the original design we started with is mega S i was gonna say mega septile mega salamence <sighs> i gotta put him in b tier too oh or c tier we're spreading the c tier so i just for some reason this pokemon to me it's really weird because he looks ridiculous, right? But then we have Roaring Moon in Scarlet and Violet that is kind of similar to this, but doesn't look bad because the disc, first of all, the, it's not just this one solid piece that's almost, you know, connecting in the front, but they're actual wings, they're feathered, and they don't, they don't almost touch in front of its face. It's just, this is kind of a... A goofy design. I don't really know why they went for this. Mega Metagross, on the other hand, is kind of a goofy design too, but in a good way. Um, I'm going to put him up in A tier. Because Metagross is already a fucking cool-ass Pokemon. And then this, this one, he just was like, you know what? I'm a psyche type. I'm going to levitate. And then I'm going to fuck you up. He just, he's a cooler Metagross, and Metagross was already pretty fucking cool to begin with. And we're going to go ahead and put Latios and Latios both up there. Um, they're both going to go in A tier, because they look like purple Latis, which, you know me, I like purple. And of course, one's red and one's blue, so I guess that's why they're both purple. I think they could have just stayed red and blue, though. Now we're going to get into the creation trio, and I know technically these are primals, and, you know, not really megas, but for the sake of this, they pretty much are megas, and it's Kyogre. It's going in S tier. I absolutely love Kyogre. This just makes them bigger, and 
and more badass. I do prefer the color scheme to the original Kyogre better. The the shade of blue I liked better, and he's got the red, whereas this one, the 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 lines that glow are more like yellow and stuff. But still a super fucking cool design, and I just I can't hate on this one. Groudon, on the other hand, I don't like it as much as I do Kyogre, but I do like it better than Groudon's original form. Uh, having the... Essentially, I'm it's like magma seeping through him. It just it makes his design look so much cooler than his original. And... He, he actually looks more intimidating than his original form as well. And speaking of more intimidating, holy fuck, Mega Rayquaza, that's an S tier. This thing is fucking crazy looking. Personally, it's actually a little too much. Like, I prefer... It's kind of like most of the, most of the Megas. Like, I prefer their original forms. Um, outside of maybe Mega Venusaur, Mega Pidgeot, uh, and definitely Mega Bayonet. But it's like Gengar, I like regular Gengar better. Um, Steelix, either way, they're pretty dope. Rayquaza, I like its original design. This one goes over the top and definitely makes him a more fierce Pokemon. And I believe Mega Rayquaza is also a hell of a lot bigger. So he would just be just that much more intimidating to have to... Uh, face it in person, but I mean the design is just top-notch <sighs> What is not top-notch at all is Mega low punny and I I just don't like this thing it low punny was already pretty fucking weird um, And this one it just it just goes even harder on the weird factor. It's an F for me I just I cannot stand this thing Everything about it, it just screams just weird. Then we got Mega Garchomp, and this is another one that's A tier for me. I really like Mega Garchomp. He just he looks much more fierce than regular Garchomp with the giant sides on both of its arms. And I I was not I wasn't really a big fan of Garchomp when Gen 4 released. I've I've grown into it over the years. But it was also because back then it was like, oh, Salamence is better than Dragonite. And I'm like, nah, fuck that, Dragonite. And then Garchomp came out and it was the same thing. And I'm like, no, I'm, I'm still Dragonite. And luckily I was, you know, rewarded with multi-scale with Gen 5. But it's just, it's a really cool design. I like it, again, more than regular Garchomp's design. Mega Lucario, on the other hand... It's a cool design. It's going to go up in A tier for sure. But I don't know that I like it better than regular Lucario. It's like the added stuff is still cool. But I feel like Lucario's design on its own was already such a cool design that it didn't... It didn't improve the design in any way. It just made it different. <sighs> then we're back with, um, you know, the not very much effort patrol here. Uh, with Mega Obama Snow, this is just like Obama Snow was just you know a big pine tree. Mega Obama Snow is like if you overfluffed your Christmas tree to where it just looked like a fucking cat, like almost like a cat that had fucking been hosed down with a blow dryer, except it's a Christmas tree. It's just I don't I I don't it, it just wasn't enough. It wasn't enough of them doing anything to it. I think I'm Mega Gallade, and this was definitely an improvement. He's going up in A tier. Kaiba's got to be in A tier. The, the cool cape thing he got, capes just make you cooler. And then his blade arm just became a fucking dual disc. Now, all Yu-Gi-Oh jokes aside, he's just it's a better looking version of Gallade. And I like the color scheme they went with. It felt like it was an improvement on the original color scheme. Um, I don't I don't think I ever used one of these. I like its design for sure, but I can't speak to how 
fun it is to use. But he looks cool as shit, though. <sighs> then uh, we've got Mega Audino here, and I just I didn't like Audino to begin with. Um, I don't hate it like I do Mega Low Punny, so I'm gonna put it in D tier. But I really don't like it. I mean, not to mention it's like out of all the Pokemon we had, you know, we got plenty of Gen ones that got Megas. We got some Gen twos, Gen threes. We got um. Not really a lot of Gen 4s. We have some Gen 4s, though. Uh, and then Gen 5, they're like, all right, we're going to give Gen 5 one Mega. You know who it's going to be? Fucking Audino. Like, what? I mean, sure, Audino was nothing but, you know, an experience farm for, you know, leveling up your shit, but... And out of all the Pokemon in Gen 5, they could have given, you know, a Mega Form to you, whether it be Haxorus, whether it be Hydreigon, whether it be Drudigon. There were some cool-ass Pokemon in Gen 5 that could have had a cool-ass, you know, Mega Evolution. But no, they went with fucking Audino that just got a little more fairy. Then lastly, we've got Mega Diancie. This is another one that I just, like, I don't really care for i guess because it's kind of like got some crystals and shit here i'll put it in c tier i guess it's just like it's like regular diancy except the the crystal in structure just got a whole lot ass bigger but again it's like out of all the pokemon in gen 6 the generation that introduced mega evolution they gave it to Diancie of all fucking Pokemon. Now, there wasn't a lot of Pokemon I liked in Gen 6. Gen 6 is my least favorite generation. But, holy fuck, again, it's like it's a complete fucking mistake that they made. Like, a, an absolute missed opportunity to put, to only make one Mega for the generation that started it. And then on top of that, it's, it's fucking Diancie of all things. Something most players aren't even going to have or get to use. That was such a stupid idea on their part. The design itself isn't that good as well. So that's going to go ahead and do it for this list. I mean... Eh. Most of them ended up in A tier or C tier. B tier was kind of just like the middle line. Like I had no reason to really complain about them. But they weren't super great. We had a lot more in A tier than I thought we ha would have. And, I mean, I tried with S tier, guys. Like, I know you guys hate when I put too many in S tier. But, I don't, I don't think anybody can complain about the ones I did put in S tier. Like, they're all just, maybe somebody's going to hate it on Pidgeot because whatever. They were, they were like, oh, Talonflame should have got it. Whatever. Pidgeot deserves something, okay? I'm sure we stepped on somebody's toes. Hopefully, uh... Not too hard, but again, this is all just subjective, and you're entitled to your own opinions. So, you go ahead and let me know in the comments below how we did you dirty, and how we uh, made a mistake putting your favorite Megas in the wrong tier, and uh, perhaps we'll have a civil conversation about it.